I am Freddy 101. People know me from the Coastside Fishing Club. I'm ready to sell this boat. I saw this will be my last one, but uh, I guess I was a little bit wrong. I want to introduce the boat on self, and I also would like to introduce you on the JKWAN81, one means this is SS2 Salmon Sucker 2, where it's also known under the name Chaspo. Well, here it's the boat we have on the bottom aluminum trailer made by Triumph. The trailer came with a single axle, so I added another axle there, oil bass bearings, and uh, the boat runs much better made four wheels on the ground then only made, made uh, two wheels. The boat is extremely light, takes a lot of impact, uh, runs really dry, it's almost unbelievable, but it is the truth. So here we have uh, the, the body from Triumph, but everything else I changed. It used to be a middle console, so I took the middle console out, I put the decking out, everything, and then put a new deck in, put a new uh, tank in, what carries 62 gallons, it's a hose tank, and it's just below the, the deck. Here in the front, we have two storage boxes, very easy access, also gives you a nice platform when you go for rockfish fishing and you have the, the railing right on your belt line, so, uh, well, everybody can fall overboard, but it should help you not to fall overboard. Cabin and self, pilot house, got the spotlight on the, on the top. It's uh, controlled with a little stick inside on the dashboard, so you can swing it to the right, to the left, up and down. Helps you a lot when you're going in in the night and you have to look a little bit where it's your ramp and where it's some other boats or where it's uh, uh, some mooring buoys uh, in the water, especially on Half Moon Bay. This boat goes very well in the ocean and also very well on the bay, for sure. Any kind of river would be not a trouble whatsoever. So I wanna climb up a little bit here because I'm lazy, so I, I like my stairways to going up. And so here, the rail is brand new, goes all the way around. You can set it down, we got me the gimbal in. Also the cleaning station, what I built up. Two more downriggers, two working backwards. And then on the other side, it's another downrigger, what you work to the side. Here, I also have a, a Scotty, but it's a high performance made the electricity what i also can set in here so you can exchange this with me no problems uh, anytime we have two batteries battery switch it's also located now we have two storage boxes <coughs> one on either side what uh, simply helps to get the weights and store the stuff away drop curtain on the pilot house what makes it nice and cozy when you leave early in the morning. Inside the pilot house, it's a, a deck light and the other light for the, for the pilot house. On the top here, we have rod holders, six of them, straight up so your rod's not leaning back. So when you're fishing and you, you bring a fish in, you're not tangled up on the, on the top of it. We got angle light and we have an antenna, a Garmin, uh, radar what brings us down to the two chart motors two chart motors are exactly the same so you have your chart and you have a radar overlay sounder so you you can have uh, one uh, running with the, the chart and the overlay the other one with the sounder or two zooming in a little bit out especially in the night it helps you a lot to going around here I got the Davids, what, uh, what I use for a, a, a crap puller. And uh, yeah, what else we got here? Not much. 
We have here the cleaning station. Then I have a, a tub for the cleaning station, what you see down there. Uh, this niches right in here, what makes it very easy when you go tuna fishing. So you can fillet the tuna here, stick each fillet in a bag, and then store it on the, on the front. The rinse out, but goes right into a hole, so everything goes right away to the outside. No guts or anything in to the to the boat and, and self very easy to clean here it's my cleaning hose what fits right to this hole here and brings you plenty of water also when you're uh, fishing for salmon you can bleed them very easy here we have another opening where it brings us right in to the build there it's the, the pump located and there it's two build pumps in there so for any reason you would need water you not only have one build pump so you have two build pumps which uh, shovels the water out right away never got a problem i only use them so that they're not stuck in and i know they're working uh, by the way i have a captain license where it brings me to 100 tons. I did this in Germany, so I have quite experience how you handle a boat in the ocean, fog or really bad weather, but stay out of the bad weather. So when we're stepping here into the pilot house, we have the wipers, We cleans your windshield really good. We have a little bit of holder for the handhold radio one mirror which shows you back on the top we have the radio we have the two garments all the instruments all the switches build pump one of them is on a float one of them you have to switch by hand and <clears throat> here this part right here it's for the spotlight so this part right here it's for the for the spotlight so you can swing this from the right to the left and here it's a, not a chair in here what would fit right in here and a, and a drop uh, cushion then right here we have some storage below here here we have some storage and you can open up this hatch and this gives you a little bit more storage you can put extra clothing in what I always take with me and then a, a little toolbox for whatever uh, what you hope you never need them right but you should have them and uh, the, the flares everything what you need very easy uh, to use from from here and here behind the seat it's uh, the regular tools what you need for fishing knife pliers uh, whatsoever and then we have another door here it's my backpack we got uh, a, a, a separated area where it's insulated so I made a little bit ice and my soda is what I want to carry with me works just fine here we have my tool bag for fishing all the fishing equipment and this it's pretty much uh, what it is here it's the guff hanging so I can bring easily the, the lines in and uh, all right here it's the cleaning area for the for the albacore albacore tuna fit right in here very easy to fill them off you have your tools everything below hole a sip thing for the for the rinse out it's only two screws but hold this down and then it's locked in and you want to take it out you just pull it out of here and you're going back to your regular salmon fishing station and then let me show you on the front below the ice box I spoke it's holding down with a punchy cord. Very easy to release on the front. You just take it out. And then we have another 
really nice box right here what I like to use with ice packs so no water in there just simply ice packs and here I put the, the tuna fillets in there everything is foamed so it really acts like a like ice box like an ice chest then just going back this here when you're in the water and you're trolling you really don't need this but when you're on the highway it simply makes sense to to log it in so you don't lose your ice box here we have the, the fuel what goes into the fuel tank again it's a hose tank with 62 gallon i was fishing out of fort bragg and we got the 25 tuna i came home made over one third of a of a of a tank this is the front platform really easy you know to stand out and fishing for rockfish you know pulling up and down but again uh, nothing it's bulletproof you still can fall over it when you don't watch out so here we have two boxes that easy rinse out you know when you see this piece of plastic that it's just a prop but you unscrew and then it, it rinses through so uh, when I was out of there we're going to the end I put a couple tuna in there just the full size so we're on the way home anyhow and then we're repacked them re-iced them you know and then uh, put them into the to the truck and we're on the, on the way home from Fort Bragg so anything else you have a question you should call me i will also put my phone number up and thank you for watching and uh yeah it's a good bye i want to go back to a little bit bigger cabin where i can sleep in i miss my my cabin what i used to have on my striver so this is the main reason very light boat, runs great, very fuel efficient. It's a 2006 to Modora, it's 2006. And we should check the hours and see how many hours we have on the motor. We have 800 hours on the, on the motor. And I was talking uh, to friends of mine, one of the Coastside Fishing Club, one friend of the Coastside Fishing Club, he takes care of the motor and they're running more than me two and three thousand hours so that it's no worried about it. And that it's a lot of trolling hours on this, on this motor too. In the winter time, regularly I start a motor so it's not running dry, it's on my property so yeah, I don't have to ask anybody, I don't have to go back and forth. So I try to, to take care of right, this boat. So now we are ran the motor. Uh, he runs really quiet and uh, very happy with this motor. And hopefully I get on the next boat at Suzuki too. So i really looking forward to it. So let's go start him and see how he runs. the motor and uh, the housing for the uh, for the impeller and I have a spare prop that goes with the boat too the deck it's also uh, the water runs off it doesn't stay in the deck it doesn't go into the build and what you see here on the 
bad. That's the ball scrubbers. I was a little bit uh, concerned about this, but uh, on the end, I could say they're really working great. I replaced them too uh, about a year ago. And about two years ago, everything is overhauled on this boat. Deck, the pilot house, all the wiring, everything. It's new. So, you want it, let me know. More than happy to give it to you.